וזה בכן השבס הגודל שהוא שבס של לפני פסח. Based on what we've been learning, we're going to understand the concept of Shabbos Agoda, which precedes Pesach, and some of the important items about Pesach itself. Ki Yitziyas Mitzrayim Shubachinas Hizgalus HaAsoro Tolui B'Shabbos Kana. Because the Jewish people leaving Egypt, which means going out of Golas, going from Golas to Gula, which we said is the concept of Hizgalus HaAsoro, is dependent on Shabbos, as we just explained. כי פסח מצרים מקרוי מבוסר, because the קודם פסח, which the Jews celebrated in Egypt, was designated on the 10th of Nisan, which was Shabbos. והויתון ארבו יומן ביקור, it required four days of checking, analyzing the animal to make sure that it was without any defect. כדי שיהיו ישראל אוסים במצרים ארבו יומן, השם wanted the Jews to be occupied with this מצווה. of preparing the Korban Pesach for four days, specifically. Arbo Yom and Daika. Note, it's exactly four days. K'day shiyuch lu l'galoi sahasoro, l'haloi samolchus. Shehi b'chinas arbo machno eschanam. In order to be able to reveal the light from the Hasorah, to elevate the Malchus, which is referred to always by the number four, the four groupings of the tribes of Israel, as we learned a little bit earlier. The four camps. ועל כן בשס פסח הראשון, כשתי יוצא ממצרים, הלו הסחולה בשבס. Now you'll understand also that when it came to the first holiday of פסח, when the Yidden left Egypt, when did all the action begin? From שבס. It was on שבס that they designated the animal, you know, to be reserved for קורבן פסח. That was when שבס הגודל came out then. כי בשבס דייקו מסחיל גאולס מצרים. Because it's on Shabbos that the Gulas Mitzrayim begins. Ki nisho mekabun hadas l'galoi samolchus. Because from Shabbos we, we receive the das to reveal, to elevate the malchus. Shehi b'chinas dalid, the malchus which is always referred to as the letter dalid, mitoich ha-hasora, from its hiddenness. V'yalkein nikba l'doyrois rak Shabbos v'lufnei Pesach v'loi ba'osor ha-chodesh. And this is the answer to a very famous question. Why is it that we celebrate Shabbos Hagodo? Why don't we simply celebrate the 10th of Nisan, whether it comes out on Shabbos on a weekday? Now, the day on which the Jews designated the Korban Pesach, which was actually the idol of the Egyptians, and the Egyptians couldn't touch them. They saw the Jews taking these lambs and sheep and tying them to their beds, and they asked them, what is this all about? And they said, we're going to be sacrificing these, And the Egyptians would have wanted to kill them, and they were helpless. They, were, they couldn't do anything. That was one of the miracles. So this miracle began from 10 days in Nisan, which happened to fall out on Shabbos at that time. Rabbi Nusnal says, so why don't we simply celebrate the 10th of Nisan, regardless of whether it's Shabbos or not? We don't do that, but rather we put the emphasis on Shabbos HaGodot. Ki Iker HaNes Toli B'Shabbos Shekun Pesach. Because the miracle of Pesach was dependent on Shabbos, which preceded Pesach. This is why it's called Shabbos HaGodol. To tell us that Shabbos is the greatest of all the different times. All of them receive from Shabbos. And because of the fact that this particular Shabbos is the one that reveals this, that tells us this, that Shabbos is the source of the miracle and everything, that we saw that Gulas Mitzrayim was, came from Shabbos, this is why this particular Shabbos of the entire year is called Shabbos HaGodo. Because this is the one that teaches us that miracles, holidays, all comes from Shabbos.